Good afternoon, everybody. Papa John here from our Kentucky home. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> got a little project I got to do this afternoon. Uh, I got home from work. Got a little shade here. Not sure if you can see this or not, but I'll I'll show you. The last few days, we've been having storms come through here, and yesterday morning we had a heavy heavy rain come through and it has rutted our driveway up something fierce let me show you there's that rut it's kind of hard to see but right in here it's probably six six inches deep and then it gets deeper and deeper it spreads out there and goes across and this is the entrance right by coming off the road up our driveway and you can see what it's done and also as as it steps up here right here it's a real big rut a little tough to see these ones here let me see if i can get on an angle here these ones are deep it's exposed the Actually, the big rocks underneath that's washed all the gravel out. This is real deep and up there as well. And we're going to see if we can't dress this up a little bit. Hang in there. We got, we got the tractor out and the box blade on it. and See if we can dress it up. Well, as you can see, in about five minutes with that box blade, it took out all them big, all of those big washouts, and I dump a little extra dirt in where the washout was actually, and I'll pack that down with the with the bucket and as you can see it's looking a lot better already up there i'll uh here in just a minute i'll take you up and uh up by the house show you where the driveway goes down below show you where it's really bad Okay, now we're here by the house, and where this hill drops off in front of the house, these ruts, you can see how much is, I'm not sure if you can see, it's kind of in the shade, but look at this pile of rock that has washed up, washed from over there. See how deep those ruts are, and these ruts are? You, you'd get your car stuck in these ones right here. That all that big huge is a big huge pile of rock piled up there. That's like Ivanka and I always joke about everything here is uphill both ways, and boy is it, but if you have a box blade, well that's about the only way you'd be able to maintain this. As we get down a little farther here into this curve you can see exactly what happens here now the ideal yeah and it goes all the way down and it washes down on that bank it actually washes over that into the woods some if i don't keep it pulled back up here into these big huge ruts but let me see if i can give you an idea how deep these things are um I mean, there's my hand. That thing is, that's six inches deep just to this, but it's 
washed all the way off of that. So it's probably 10, 12 inches deep all the way down through here. Gets even worse as you get down the hill here. So we'll set up and see if we can't do something with this here. That's looking up the hill at the house there. You can tell I'm, I'm probably 15 feet below the house here. That's, that's how steep this driveway is. All righty. You can see I got them ruts filled right in. A little white stone over it looks pretty dirty uh like it's mostly dirt but um once it sits a while and dries out it gets real white and you can see the gravel in it again and but it it filled that them big ruts big ruts right in see ideally ideally what we would want is you would want a crown in the middle of this so it slopes both ways but this is all uphill and then all the way around this driveway all the way down is high ground on both sides as you can see how oh, it humps way up there about well four feet before it goes on down the hill so what it does is it creates a washout all the way down through here and you've seen that big one that big one up there you can even see the you can even see those shadows from the ruts and how much how much that is you know right in there how deep that is we'll get that worked up and that'll about do it Well, as you can see, yeah, that took me about, uh, it's hyperlapse, but it actually took me about 15, 20 minutes on this section here, maybe 15 minutes, but you can see them big, deep ruts are all filled in. I got the gravel all spread back out, use the tractor tires to pack it down a little tighter. Looks good all the way down. We don't actually use this driveway um, on, on an occasion. We'll take the quad down it, but it's funny. The UPS guys, FedEx guys, when they come, they come in the far drive down there by the garage where we were working earlier. And then they'll come down the little hill there by the house and stop right there. And they tear down this thing. All I know is... I'm glad it's not my equipment that they've run down this thing with because they don't treat it real well. Well, I hopped up on old red. We're going to head around back to the garage. Maybe clean it up a little bit before I put her away for the night. I'll tell you, if you live in Appalachia and you have a driveway, a gravel driveway, you need a tractor with a box blade, a four-wheel drive tractor. You can see in that video dragging the box blade full of gravel up this hill. It was uh, actually I was spinning all the tires, and uh, it, it's just a necessity. Um, I, I hope you like this quick video. I just thought I'd show you how we man maintain our driveways here in the in the mountains. Yeah. From our Kentucky home, hit the like button. Share this video with your friends if you like this kind of content and subscribe.
and uh, we'd sure be happy to have you here at our Kentucky home. Until next time, God bless.